Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping well. And um, today we've got a review. I have been sent this portable label maker. It is an Amazon seller. I will pop all the links down below. But it is a PRT QT label printer. So you can charge this up. It links via Bluetooth to your phone or tablet. And you can create designs print them out and then you've got like your little stickers that you can pop on whatever you want whether it's labeling like kitchen containers storage just organization anything at all um you can use it so yeah i'm really excited to try it i have got a link in the description box down below um it's currently up at 17 pounds 99 on amazon and you can get it on prime if you have prime so if you like the look of this you can have it by tomorrow so yeah, let's have a look. I haven't set it up yet, so I thought we'd open it together and see what it is like. Okay, here it goes. Oops, a daisy. What have we got in here? So I'm going to assume this is the charging cable. This is the printer, so nice little size actually. Got some instructions, the box. Yeah, I think this will be the charging cable. Hopefully it comes charged. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have to have a little pause. But yeah, there's just like a charging cable there. Instructions. And let's see what it says. I think there's a QR code you need to scan to get started. So bear with me as I have a little look at this. Uh, here's a QR code to download the app. So I'm just going to get my tablet because i film on my phone normally i'd have this on my phone but obviously because i'm filming on my phone i will set it up on my ipad so we'll see how that works let's just get the qr code there there we go see what happens <coughs> excuse me okay so it's just taking me here to say to put it on i've got the google play and i've got the app store so Works with iOS or Android. Oh, here we go. So it's here, print. That is the app. I'll be back in a minute once that has loaded up. We have the app. Let's open it up. Here we go. All right, so it wants to, it wants to connect to the device. So what I'm going to do, we're going to switch this on, but I'm going to make sure the paper is correct. So all I've done here... Just slid that up. Oh, is it already set up already? What does it say on here? Ah, this is just a sample piece of paper, I think. <clears throat> yeah, so this isn't the actual paper. That's just telling you about that. I believe, yes, there's a little sticker here we need to remove. Okay, let's take that off and hopefully we'll load this in the proper way and sit that and get rid of that bit of paper, that sticker, so put it back in there. Is it, does it go like this? Let me just tighten this up a minute. I should we get that uh, in here. And then, can we get it in? Oh, it's a little bit fiddly, I won't lie. Okay, I think that might be it. Slide this back on. There we go. So we've got the power button. This is the cutter button. And this is the charging button. So if we turn it on, Press and hold. Yes. So we've got a green light there. So that looks good. <clears throat> so let's allow this. See if we can pair up with it. So connect printer. So it's just got it here. Hello there, by the way. So just press connect. And it says that the printer is connected. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, it tells you what the battery life is. Oh, that's quite good. We've got settings. How do we do this? How do we get started? 
So, oh, so you can say if you want it to be continuous, if you want it to be a gap, or if you want it to scan. Okay, so let's just say, I think we've got continuous paper. I'm not sure what we've got. I'll say continuous. Here we are, right then. So double click here to input. So let's just try that first of all. And let's just pop in here, Lady Mawa. Okay. Lovely, let's say okay. And we can, yeah, we can bring it down to the center. And what else have we got here? You can add, well, what's this, bubbles? I think you've got like speech bubbles and things you can maybe add, no? any stickers what have we got here ah so we can add in some little bunnies and things if we wanted that's quite good it looks like there's lots of different graphics that you can include holidays frames okay so let's pop a little frame on it can we do that and can we bring that over there Okay, that looks a roughly central. Okay, let's try that. And then click, I want you to be able to see this, we'll click print. And then, oh, so you now print a gap paper. If the paper roll is newly loaded to print offset, please follow the following steps. Press the power button twice quickly and it will find out where the gap is in the paper. Okay. I think we've done that. Okay. I don't think we have got gap paper though. I'm pretty sure this is continuous. I also haven't got all of that image on there, but it doesn't matter. Let's just print it and see what happens. Oh, wow, that was fast. Right, I haven't got this straight. Let's cut that. Oh, that cuts it nice and easy. I'm gonna just try something again. That's one key, isn't it? So maybe it's just with it being the first page. Um, first piece let's try it again ah that's why my design wasn't completely in can you resize it aha uh -huh. so maybe the, there was actually a little um let's what am i doing i wonder if you can make these as one item Uh, can you see there, there's a dotted line of what the sticker size is. So we need all that to be smaller. So if I put, type on my words. Oops. Ah, I think it goes green when it's central. Oh, heck, what am I doing here? Okay, we'll try that anyway. So this is just, let's just see if that makes it straight. I'm not convinced it does. Let's see, we'll print it anyway. I'm going to print some little animals. I think I've got my lines wonky. Print. So you can check, proof check it first. You can see it's just offset, but I'm not worried. Um, but it's so easy. So, and then all you do, I'm assuming you just yeah, peel off the back as a sticker, which is great. And um, these do come in different colors as well, actually. They had lots of different colors. Let me just print off a oops. Let me just print off a couple of animals. Let's just start again with these. How easy is this just to delete it? Um, where do I delete? Can I delete that? I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Bin and delete. Bin. So say for example, like with my my wool. This would be a good play, but you can be able to work out. There'll be shortcuts like with everything, like for center to merge and everything else. There, so you've got different fonts. Oh, is that different colors? Oh, let me just see if we can do that then. So we've got different types of words here. So, oh, it's downloading fonts. Okay, so it's downloaded that one. So let's do a text and just pop in, I don't know, like yarn. If I'm wanting to store my yarn, okay. Um, so can we change the color? I don't know how we change the color though. 
I don't know what that means. We'll do that and see what happens. But I haven't got any colour settings on here. Who knows? Actually, let's just take that off and let's put in some pictures instead. What's the graffiti? Oh, you can free draw with the graffiti. We've got stickers. Clothing. So if you want to label like your clothing items when you're sort of storing things, that's quite good off for the kids, you know, where they've got to pack the clothes in the drawers. Office and stationery. Okay, so we'll just do a couple of little, let's do a pair of scissors. Let's print that off and then I'm going to leave it at that and we'll have a final thoughts. So let's print. Cool, cut. And then, gosh, it's so fast. I think that's really cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing about with this. So keep an eye out because I'll end up having this in some of my future craft videos and things, I think. I, I really quite like the look of this. So, yeah, this is the Portable Label Maker. It's a QT. Um, it's by PRT. I have got a link down below. It was kindly gifted. And in this one, you get your box. Obviously, you get your printer with a spool. I believe you can, I think there's a QR code on the actual spool when you're running out of stickers, like the labels, and you need to get some more. And there is a charging um, lead as well. So that's everything you get. So yeah, I'd just like to say thank you to ever so much for kindly gifting this to me for review. I actually think it's really good. I'm going to be able to use this for certain. I love organising. So like on my bead storage, I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. But yeah, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Take care for now. Mwah! Bye for now.